it is two areas. Um, well-being for me is, falls in the area of mental health. Uh, the ability for us to overcome our areas of stress in life, master challenges in life, um, and being relatively functional in society. You know, that is good um, mental health. Mental illness is when we develop, when we struggle to cope with our daily demands. Um, that can be as a result of dealing with people, dealing with bad situations, or dealing with traumatic events. You know, the bully at school. I could be bullied at school, and that could develop what we call psychological wounding. Struggling with my maths is a normal mental health challenge because I get anxious to perform. But having my maths lesson and then having to struggle facing up to a bully that may break my bones, now that may become a mental illness or a mental wound where I struggle to overcome what I would call a normal living challenge. That is the difference between normal mental health challenges and, and traumatic or extraordinary stress that can, that can lead to mental illness. And like most things, Cassie, um, normally um, if a bully bullies me once, but the situation it remedied, remedied, it won't develop into an issue. It may just be an incident. But if this bully isn't handled well by the school, I can develop a fear of going to school, which can then affect my schoolwork and my academic future. So mental illness, there are normally clear warning signs that some help is needed. And sometimes a lot of people don't take the necessary action or is unfortunately not able to get the help that they need. In general, Cassie, you know, we have a natural tendency to cope with uh, fairly normal situations. But people that um, get very mentally ill have been in prolonged situations of stress where they don't have support, they don't have the necessary resources to, to get the help that they need, and anyone with prolonged trauma or painful events, like an abusive father or an alcoholic mother or constantly moving home, running away with a father that, that struggles to keep his job. Um, I've got this beautiful saying, you know, everybody can take a punch every now and then, but every now and then there's a punch, like the 10th one, where it becomes very difficult to get up. You know, we can only take so many punches in life. And that is fairly normal because a, a, a struggle, you, it's only when you struggle when you learn to develop determination. It's only when you, you cry when you feel relief. But every now and then, without adequate social support um, or um, health care, uh, or being in a very dysfunctional situation, which is, see, which is, which is felt as, well, normal almost, um, some days some people just cannot get up because they just had too many blows to their system. And that's when the more difficult and more severe mental health challenges come to the fore. Illness is what we call, you know, when you lose your dog, as an example, we all are depressed for a few weeks, maybe a few months, but that is a normal grieving process. Illness is when it becomes what we call chronic. This is now becoming a companion to how I'm doing this year, the next year, and the next year. So people take chronic medicine for high blood pressure, you know. So when something is chronic and long-term and becomes 
a, a longitudinal issue for mental health. That's when we're looking at the word illness. 